All right, so for turning an equation into standard form, we need to start by writing it in point slope. I've already started by giving the x and y intercepts for this graph. All I need to do is find the slope first. So 5 minus 0 over 0 minus negative 7, which is plus. So our slope is 5 sevenths. And now I'm going to choose one of the points. Typically, I'm going to use the one that gives me, uh, actually, sorry, I'm going to use this one because it le leads to me doing less distributing. So if I'm going to write this in point slope form, I'm going to replace x1, y1 in our form. So I have y minus 5 equals 5 sevenths times x minus 0. So this is in point slope form. Next, if I want to get this so that x and y are on one side of the equation, I need to move 5 sevenths and distribute it to both x and the 0. I know that this one really doesn't matter, I'm just making a point. So I get y minus 5 equals 5 sevenths x. Well now I need to move x and y to the left side of the equation. To move this x over, I need to subtract 5 sevenths x from both sides. 5 sevenths x. And I'm going to move it over here. I get y minus 5 sevenths x uh, minus 5 equals 0. I also have to move this 5 to the other side. So I'm going to add 5 to both sides. If you really like, you can do this at the same time as moving the x so that we don't get all uh, muddled together. And I get y minus 5 sevenths x equals 5. And so now I've completed step two. I have both x, sorry, x and y on the left side of the equation and my constant on the right hand side. Last step is no fractional coefficients. That means that I need to multiply this to get rid of this seven. So I'm gonna multiply everything by seven. So distribute seven to each of these things. Seven times y is seven y. Seven times negative five sevenths is negative five x and 7 times 5 is 35. This is in standard form now. If I really wanted to be uh, nitpicky, typically the x should go first and it should not be negative. So this would be technically the same as 5x minus 7y equals 35. Um, let's do that with a different number. So I've got slope and I've got a point. So we'll plug these things in. y minus 3 equals negative 2 fifths times x minus negative 5, so plus 5. We are going to distribute. I get y minus 3 equals negative 2 fifths x. Negative 2 fifths times positive 5 is negative 2. Because the 5s will cancel each other out. Now I'm going to move x over and subsequently the 3 over. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides and add 2 fifths x to both sides. So now I'm left with 2 fifths. I'm left with 2 fifths x plus y equals 1. I don't want to have 2 fifths, so I'm going to multiply everything by 5. So 2 fifths times 5 is 2x plus 5y equals 5. This is in standard form. Ignore what the page says about C over A or C over B. It doesn't really matter. Um, and just as a side note, if Y happens to have a fraction in front of it, so maybe it was, uh, let's say, 3 fourths X plus 7 eighths Y equals 2. Well, I'm going to find the least common multiple and multiply by it to get rid of both 8 and 4 at the same time. So if I multiply everything by 8, our least common multiple, 8 times 3 fourths, well this would technically become a 1 and a 2. So 2 times 3 would be 6x, 8 times 7 eighths is 7y, and 8 times 2 is 16. I'm not really going to have kids do that that much, but this is how we go to standard form. Let's start with point slope, start to distribute and simplify and combine like terms as we can, get our x's and y's on the one side, get our constants on the other, and then get rid of fractions by multiplying by the denominator.